All right, folks, gather around. Tonight, we're diving headfirst into a topic that affects every single one of us. We're talking about the great American spending spree, a phenomenon that has become as much a part of our culture as apple pie and baseball. At the heart of this ride is the national debt, that monstrous pile of IOUs currently sitting at a cool $33 trillion. Some folks suggest cutting back on spending, you know, like responsible adults, tightening the belt, making sacrifices. But tonight we're exploring a truly radical idea. What if we just gave away everything the government owns? Picture an auctioneer selling off national treasures or the Grand Canyon being used as a giant storage bin for all our financial woes. Thank you for joining us tonight. Let's make a difference one step at a time. So what exactly does Uncle Sam have stashed away in his national attic? Turns out quite a bit. We're not just talking about dusty old typewriters and commemorative plates here, folks. First up, we've got land and lots of it. From sprawling national parks to vast stretches of undeveloped wilderness, the federal government owns roughly 640 million acres of land. That's like saying they own Texas three times over. And don't forget about all the government buildings, post offices and military bases sprinkled across the country. But wait, there's more. Uncle Sam also sits on a treasure trove of natural resources, including oil, gas, minerals and timber. Think of it as a giant subterranean piñata just waiting to be cracked open. Now, putting a price tag on all this stuff is trickier than valuing a Picasso painted by a chimpanzee on live television. But even conservative estimates suggest that these assets could be worth trillions, potentially enough to make a significant dent in that pesky national debt. OK, so we've got our assets lined up like contestants on a game show. Picture it. A dazzling array of resources, from vast tracts of land to mineral rights, all waiting to be claimed. The million-dollar question is, how do we divide this massive pie amongst 330 million Americans? It's a logistical puzzle of epic proportions. One option is the good old-fashioned land grab. Imagine everyone staking their claim on a piece of America. A less chaotic approach would be to issue every citizen shares in a giant national trust that manages these assets. Think of it like investing in America Inc. with dividends paid out from natural resources or government-owned properties. The goal is to ensure everyone gets a fair share of the wealth, building a brighter future for all Americans. Imagine the sheer scale of coordination required for a monumental asset transfer. It's like orchestrating a symphony where every instrument must play in perfect harmony. Does that magically erase the national debt? It's a complex web of financial obligations, promises and expectations. The national debt is essentially a bunch of outstanding loans the government has taken out. Distributing assets doesn't erase those loans, but it does give the government a way to pay them off. Think of it this way. If you owe someone $10 and you sell your old bicycle for $10, you haven't magically erased the debt. You've simply converted one asset, your bike, into another cash to pay off your debt. The government would be converting its assets into a way to reduce or eliminate its outstanding loans. It's like a giant game of financial Tetris where we're trying to line up government assets to make that debt disappear. Accurately valuing these assets is crucial. Misjudging the value of an asset can lead to significant financial shortfalls. If we undervalue them, we might not generate enough revenue to pay off the debt. And if we overvalue them, we'll have a whole new set of problems on our hands. Managing national debt is about making informed decisions that balance short-term needs with long-term stability. With the right strategies and a committed effort, we can work towards a more sustainable financial future. Imagine the relief and optimism that could come from successfully managing and reducing the national debt. A future where financial stability allows for greater investment in public services, infrastructure and innovation. This could lead to advancements in technology, education and overall quality of life for everyone. A united effort to manage our national debt can pave the way for a brighter, more prosperous future for all. It's a challenging journey, but with determination and smart strategies, it's a goal within our reach.